yeah right so today I've just remembered I had this laying around as a paperweight I found this on the side of the street it was being crashed by cars it was an old moving air conditioning thing I guess not much left of it but I've managed to take out the motor which I have burned when I was that was ages ago like and the motor with the fan that's the motor I was talking about and I had this compressor and this was the only cap that I had home not in my shop home and this was home too so I figured out it can't be from another thing so I'm positively that this is his cap right so I've looked on Aussies or Ed's videos much and nothing help like it's you have to be uh, three times the scientist and I don't know the fuck but you can't find how to wear this although I did finally find how to wire it and the proper way to wire this first you have to have a multimeter which I have you have to put it on resistance I think yeah. and I'll try to show you what happens so just randomly measuring the fuck nothing happens oh yeah forgot I've measured the cap always look on these things you can burn the thing so hope you can hear the beep so randomly plug in them and on this I get 12 let me get an ensemble picture now I can get right on the other two I get 28 29 and uh, the other left I get 70 which means that this one is the common and why it's that because I get the the biggest number means that that's the whole winding inside so it has a big resistance like 30 almost the other one with the common is 13 you can see it if you try I hope and the other one is seven is oh fuck is like I said 17 so the shirting what the short winding you don't need the big number like 28 that's the whole winding. You have to have a common and the small winding does a bigger magnetic field so that will be the start winding which has 12 and the run winding which is a bigger wind has to have a bigger number which in my case is 17 so this with this has 17 this with this has 13 this with this has anyway these two have a bigger number than any other combination right so these two here have 30 these two have 13 because it's a shorter number that means it's a shorter winding inside and a bigger magnetic field so this is the start winding and this two 
or the run winding. These things need a bigger force to start and a smaller magnetic force to run. Therefore, a bigger winding means a smaller magnetic field. But that means this doesn't overheat. So we have common, start and run. Let me wire this. I'll put also a link in the description so you will see where I've learned it from but you can also watch this and you will see wait a minute right so as promised I've wired it well did the best I could it seems a lot but it isn't just looks like much it's pretty simple if you've done electronics or other simple projects we have a common which goes to the mains then we have the run winding and the start winding the other wire of the mains goes is always connected to the run and the start is connected through the capacitor at the mains which gives it a little bit of juice to start well didn't plug it in so if it blows you will laugh and I make tons of video views and shit but I guess it won't well started uh, why are you humming like that little boy oh you are not humming anymore Ah, I guess you just like to have some power in you, huh? Just like to be in a load. Well, it builds up pressure. It's not that good of a vacuum pump. Oh, you have water in you. Which it builds pressure you see how specially connected the earth is you will never see me in this shop hooking any earth and that is because I have no earth leads why I don't have any earth leads? no, not because I'm dumb but that's something new it's because it's against the regulations here to have it installed in this place. I can have it in my home if it's installed by proper guys. I'm a qualified electrician, but I'm not allowed to have any earth in my country. So that will be useless. Well, there you go, it runs, it's silent, it's getting warm, just warm, not hot. If I had a thermometer, I could show you. Oh, building up quite a bit of pressure, whoa, dear goodness and lord. Let's see how much, how much can you give to me? Ah. So this is how I, this works for me, I don't know if it will work for you, you could try, I tried to teach you how to do it, you have to use this Chinese piece of shit, or anything similar, <sighs> and as always, please subscribe, like, favorite even. Don't forget to check the link in the description. And thanks for watching. Right, so I've just watched David's video. And I found out a really, not sad thing, but not that awesome thing. So, what David told me through his, his video 
is that when a refrigeration system stood open or yeah without freon or worked without freon and sucked in air that they're having moisture in it or water it damaged the system and mostly the compressor itself I won't go in any details because I don't want to make really long videos if you want to know more about damaging compressors and things just go look his little uh, video he shows you how to solder pipes I guess or leads or whatever refrigeration system repairing so yeah big shout out to this guy I will try to make it a video response to him but let's see if he agrees so yeah thanks for watching bye